Yo, what is up, guys? I'm sorry for the lackluster of videos I've been doing. It's just... It's hard to make content that's not sniping content when you're level 40, you know? But anyways, let's get into this video. I'm going to be talking about the secret invincible card. This card isn't invincible. He's actually better than the invincible card. Now, why do I say this? Say might, say wait. Basically, 99 everything. Only has 10 different hoof badges, which if you really wanted to, you could just literally apply some badges on them and make them the invincible. But why is this card the better than the invincible card? So, okay, here we go. So, here we go. Same height, same weight. Dude, look. These are literally the exact same stats. And everything that he doesn't have on a hoof, he has on gold. So it's basically like he does have 65 hoof badges. Like this card totally has 77 badges. This card totally has 76. There's only one badge in the game that he does not have. So, one of these... This is why I call him the Invincible. Yes, they are once 120k and one is 30k. 90k difference. You would think the Invincible one would have something like, you know, different that makes it really, really good. Like maybe dribble moves, maybe jump shot. That card, they have the exact same animations. And this one has one that's even better. He has. The curry slide. The invincible doesn't even have the curry slide. There's no other than the quais that came out today. Except the uh all the quais and all the mighty man adversity. The mighty man adversity, they do not have or they all have the curry slide. Like so does so does AD, but he's too heavy. He can't do the curry slide. But this card is not heavy. So you have a 6-7 shooting guard that is better than the invincible because the exact same jump shot and every other animations except the curse slide which is way better so you can just speed boost like that so let's get into a game and yeah let's go sorry I haven't been making any content like I said it's just been very hard making content other than like you know a sniping challenge or something alright so let's put him in let's put a gold card right there I've also been playing some micro a little bit you know the eight days I played this game going for level 40, you know, it kind of does drain you out of this game. Oh, wow. Isn't that... Isn't that just something? Reverse is in Kawhi Leonard. Just the Amethyst version of it. That card was golden for a time. Alright, let's do this. So, you can just speed boost like that. You know, do a little bit of a pick roll shot. Alright, I'm getting a little too cocky. Let's lock in for a moment. Gain a gap for it. So leave him open. Yeah, this is, this card's literally the invincible. Like, you really don't even have to pay for the in game card. Why would you get the in game card? Except if you're a huge Toronto Raptors fan, which Toronto Raptors is my second favorite team. Other than the Cavs, it's my second favorite team because my favorite player is Carter. You know, that he made that team. But, like, even then, it's just like, I don't need that card, bro. When you have a clone, and he even ruined his jumper. Like, this jumper might be better than the one that the in-game one has. So, this might be the best Kawhi that came out to me, like today. And it's just that wingspan at the shooting guard is more broken than KD in my opinion. Because his jumper is just cheese. 
There's like yeah, you know, speed boost. Yeah, you know, do a little jump moves, a curry slide. Okay, hold on. I'm messing around, dribbling. I need a need to play. I was thinking about maybe doing something to make me draft a team or something like that. I don't know. I've been. I just don't know the video ideas I could do. Maybe I should let something like online, like make my squad. I don't know. Three. Or maybe I should do a sniping challenge. I don't know. I've been thinking about doing a sniping challenge. It's just like I said, you get real drained just playing this game after going for level 40. Even in my career, I bet you did too, because there's just nothing else to go for. Yeah, I could do domination. Yeah, I could just grind the vault or clutch time or TTO, which I also got the Elder Baylor, so. Oh, yeah. This card's something, man. The only card that might be better than this is the point guard, um... Point guard quiet, just, you know, obviously, obvious reasons he runs point guard. But I feel like a lot of people ain't gonna run that at point guard when he can run AD at point guard. Or Yao Ming at point guard. Or K KD at point guard. It's just... I don't know how. I just don't know why anyone else would run. Why, but this card? Like, yeah, the 75th one is the exact same card. More hoof badges, you know. But it's just. That 75th one can't run shooting guard. Yeah, the car art's better, but it's more expensive and it can't run shooting guard, but it runs. It plays the same way. So if you are running them at a small forward. Then buy the 75th one if it's cheap or if it's more cheaper because it's just better but this one can run shooting guard and six seven with like a seven foot wingspan that's just cheese you know all right there we go If we get anything on this vault. Yeah, the vault is open, man. Maybe give me another Elgin Baylor, you know. No, I don't need him. Which, I think that card's underrated. He's actually really good. Alright, we got a dynamic ratings pack. But yeah, maybe I should do a sniper challenge. Because I did snipe a Tim Duncan. A uh, hero Tim Duncan. For 20k. And he sold him for like 70 ish k You know, that's money. You feel me? But yeah, that's about it for today's video. Maybe y'all should start requesting videos that I should. Just start requesting videos y'all want. Because I don't know what to really make. Because I already got level 40. Do I do a... Do I start a new account and film my videos on there? It, maybe I'll play for like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. And uh, yeah, goodbye.